Hey YouTube, recently I was in Stockport with my friend and we came, we went to this like second hand computer shop and I found there an old G4 gigabit ethernet. Um, I don't know if you saw but in, in one of my other videos, the one with really bad audio, I got the Quicksilver. I kept the graphics card from that um, because like it's a 16 meg DDR Radeon 7500. The specs of this, it's a dual 500 megahertz G4 system. It, um, all I've done so far to this is put a fan there since loads of people seem to do this. Um, it has just 128 megs of RAM. Uh, the dual G4s are under there, and that's the Rage 128 Pro, graf uh, yeah, Pro graphics card, 40 gig HDD. There's a DVD RAM up there, which I want to get a super drive and pull that in. And here's what I'm going to be upgrading it to. I'll be adding an extra 80 gig hard drive. Oh, that's a um, iPod sticker given to me by Richard, and it's over the HP logo on my laptop. A uh, This is the Radi uh, Radian 7500. 16 meg DVR graphics card. I suppose it's an upgrade from that 16 meg SD graphics card. And I've got four 256 meg uh, sticks of RAM. They're all different makes because uh, I just found them lying around so I thought I might put them in and give this thing a gig. So I'll be back in a minute when I've set the camera up. So now I'm going to upgrade the RAM. That's the 128 makes stick out. A bit useless now. That's 1256. That's the next 256. Third 256. And there's the fourth 256. Now I'm going to do the graphics card. The camera's kind of perched on top of the fan, so I need to be very careful it doesn't fall off. So I've got to do this carefully. That's the Rage 128 out. Even though they look like the same card. I mean, that's the Rage... One two, uh, no, that's the Radian 7500, and this is the Rage 128. They basically look the same, but one of them's got 2001 ATI technologies on it, and that's the Radian 7500. And then the Rage 128 Pro's got 2000 ATI technologies on it. But one of them has 16 megs DDR VRAM, and one of them has 16 megs SD VRAM, and the SD VRAM card is the Rage 128. So that's the graphics card, and now we upgrade the HDDs. So I have to find a decent place for the camera. In fact, I'll just pop the camera there and I'll take out the HDDs. Then I'll I can move the camera while I put the HDD in. The new HDD. And that's the current HDD. It's a 40 gig Maxter Diamond Max. Uh, oh, you can't really see that. Seems it's a Diamond Max 8, 8 plus. Um, or plus 8, I don't know. Right, so now I'm going to put the new HDD in here. So that's this. It's a Diamond Max plus 9 and it's 80 gig. So that's 120 altogether now. So I'm going to put that in now. If I can just find the screws. Here we go. Let's put this in the, the, the caddy.
Right, so that's all done. Both HDDs are in. So I'm just going to fit that into the system. Ah, where's my screw going? Hold on a second. Where's that screw? I appear to have lost the screw. Hold on a second, I'll just quickly find another one. Right, I've got one. I hope it fits. Yeah, it does. There we go. There's the screw in. So now I'll put on the little IDE band. So that's master, slave. Then this cable goes into the motherboard. There we go. And that's where my fan's connected. It's got a um, Molex, it's got a fan, three pin fan to Molex connector. I've got, I'm going to plug in in a second, so, alright, um, that one's, that's hard, that's a 40 gig hard drive, we've got power, and now the 80 gig has power. Right, so, I'll be back in a minute when I power this thing up, bye. Okay, so it's all connected up, and I've got my new flat Apple keyboard connected up, so I had to use that Microsoft one before, but now I've got an Apple one. And I'm just waiting to um, get a, an Apple mouse, because they cost more than the keyboards. Because the keyboards are like £28 here, from PC World, and the mouse is 34 So let's turn this thing on, and hope it doesn't give me those three beeps saying that it's not working, like because the RAM, and hopefully it just bongs. Oh, that's a good sign. Right. Sounds a little odd, a little noisier than normal G4 because of that extra fan I put in there. Because uh, I've overclocked the graphics card a little bit it's such an old one and I need some better. Hoping to get, um, try, I'm trying to flash this graphics card here. But apparently I can't do it because it's got these TSOT RAMs and I need BGA RAMs apparently or something. That's a 9600 XT with two monitor ports. Oh, it's loading. Right, so, C. Okay, so, yep. Let's just see. See if it's recognised all that extra RAM. Well, not much in, since some people have got 2 gigs, but, yeah. Oh, why is it so blurry? It says dual, it, dual 500 megahertz Power PC G4, one gig SD RAM. Brilliant. Oh, and I've got both HDD showing up now, Mac HD and Data. Thanks for watching. My next video will probably be a tour of my room, and I'll list all the specs of my machines. Bye.